Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Hi guys, congratulations on being accepted as Unimas students. Unimas has a lot of IT services. And the presentation today is an introduction to these IT services. You will need to have a Unimas ID in order to access the various online and IT services available in Unimas. Change your default password when you first receive your Unimas ID. In the web browser, go to theuniversity.unimas.my. Your username is your metric number and password is your IC number. For international students, this would be your passport number. Click the Login button. At the User Dashboard, click on Change Password. Key in your current username and password. Key in a new password that should be a mix of alphabets and numbers, both lower and uppercase. And then click Login. To access your student email, go to office365.unimas.my Login using your Unimas ID, followed by at siswa.unimas.my Key in your password. At your dashboard, select and click on Outlook. This is your inbox where all official emails will be received from your lecturers and classmates. When you are done, select and click on your username and log out. Remember the importance of keeping your Unimas ID safe, especially your password. Moving on, in Unimas, we depend a lot on Wi-Fi. We are working to provide Wi-Fi to everyone on campus. This includes all colleges. Here's an introduction to Unimas Wi-Fi. In order to enjoy the IT services in Unimas, you will need to connect to the Unimas Wi-Fi. In your Wi-Fi selection menu, select Unimas Student. Click Accept to accept the terms and conditions and log in using your Unimas ID. A confirmation screen will then appear to inform you that you are connected to Unimas Wi-Fi. As with any other Wi-Fi, expect issues with connection disruptions, performance quality and coverage. With Unimas Wi-Fi, do not block others from accessing the access points, change the Wi-Fi equipment's configuration, create your own network or vandalize the Wi-Fi equipment. At all times, please use Wi-Fi sensibly and responsibly. In Unimas, we allow you to monitor your academic progress. To do this, you can log in to the student management system. Do pay attention to the next video introducing Unimas eStudent.
To access the Unimas eStudent system, go to the URL smpweb.unimas.my. Login using your Unimas ID, username and password. This is your student desktop. On the left hand side are all your menu items. Under personal, you will have your bio data and disciplinary actions information. Under academic, you will have your latest results and your pre-transcript information. Under application status, you will have information concerning your college application, your undergraduate program application, and if you have made an appointment with a counsellor. Under evaluation, you can see your course evaluation form. And lastly, links to other student online systems. CITDS is responsible for providing support for all your IT needs on campus. If you require our assistance, please use our online service desk. This next video will show you how to use Unimas support. In order to get help and support for your IT needs in Unimas, in a web browser, go to support.unimas.my. Login using your Unimas username and password. Click Create New Ticket. Select your feedback type. Fill in the details for the ticket, such as a title. Provide a detailed description, such as the nature of the problem location and time. When done, click Create Ticket. Your ticket will be assigned to an agent. In the Action column, you can check the status of your ticket. When done, you can log out. In today's new normal, Unima students conduct learning online. Unimas is providing various platforms for you to interact with your lecturers and each other. The next video will highlight common tools available on Unimas collaboration platforms. To join a Zoom meeting, your lecturer will send you an email with a link to the meeting. Download and run the Zoom app. Click on Open Zoom Meeting in order to join the meeting. At the lower left-hand corner of your screen, you can configure your microphone and webcam settings. Clicking on Participants will show you all the participants for the meeting. The chat feature allows you to send a message to all participants. Share screen allows you to share your screen with all the participants. Use the record feature to record the meeting. You can give a thumbs up or wave using the reaction feature. Your lecturer will send you an email to invite you to join a WebEx meeting. 
install the Webex meeting app and then click on start meeting in order to join the meeting. In your participants view, you can mute and unmute your microphone. Share your content with other participants of the meeting. And when allowed by the host, you can record the meeting. You can view a list of all participants to the meeting and take part in a chat session with all of the participants. And when you are done, you can leave the meeting. To join a Microsoft team meeting, click on the link sent to you by your lecturer. You can either install the Microsoft team application on your PC or join the meeting online through your browser. Check to see if you are in the right meeting room and then click join now. In the meeting room, you can toggle on and off your webcam or your microphone. You can share documents or even your own screen to your classmates. Additional options allow you to go full screen and even to record your meeting session. If you need to grab attention, just raise your hand virtually. You can communicate with all your classmates using the chat feature. You can also invite your friends to join you in this meeting room. And when you're done, click the hang up button. IT in Unimas follows a set of guidelines, namely Unimas ICT policy and Dasar Keselamatan ICT or DKICT. Unimas students are required to sign and comply with the Code of Conduct, which means you will follow guidelines as in Unimas ICT policy and DKICT. If you misbehave, while using our ICT services, actions against you will be taken based on DKICT. And for more information on DKICT, go to the link here. Now, let me share with you three basic security tips. Number one, keep your password safe by avoiding using your IC number, birthday, phone number, or family name as your password. Never share your password. Number two, don't click unknown email links. If you don't know it, don't do anything. Number three, keep your private data private. In Unimas, we practice two-factor authentication or 2FA. The next video will introduce Unimas 2FA. Unimas 2FA is available for those with a Unimas ID. Install the Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile device before setting up Unimas 2FA. 2FA setup will be activated when you first log in using your Unimas ID to an online system in Unimas such as the Unimas eStudent system. First, you will need to key in your handphone number.
Next, a setup code will be sent to you via SMS. Key in the code that was sent to you. Using Microsoft Authenticator or Google Authenticator, scan the QR code that is shown to you on the screen. Key in the OTP code that is shown to you via the Authenticator app. Unimas has an official mobile app, which helps you access online services through your mobile devices. Here's an introduction to Unimas now. Unimas Now is the official app for Unimas. Its main feature is the QR scanner which is used for classroom and activity attendance on campus. Aside from the QR scanner, Unimas Now also has various other features such as your student virtual ID, your campus news broadcasts, an academic calendar, your course and credit details, your student financial details, a staff directory, emergency services contact details, and notifications so you will not miss any important Unimas happenings. Download Unimas now today from Google Play or Apple Store. Once again, Congratulations on being accepted to Unimas. We hope to make your learning experience in Unimas a memorable and good one. Please like our CHDS Facebook page and drop us some comments. With that, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Take care and stay safe.